So last night, ESPN dropped their top 50 college football players list. This is the third iteration of the list. They've done it after each month of college football. What they do is they have 10 writers, great players from across the country on a scale from one to 10, obviously 10 being the highest. And they come up with a list of who they believe based on those 10 people who are not in the room together, I'm assuming. So this is like 10 random opinions. Then you take the averages, I'm guessing, that's how it works. Take those rankings, average them out, and then they come up with this list, okay? They go 50 deep. Today, we're going to talk about the top 10. Now, the thing I found most delightful <laughs> about this list is that I've done videos on every single player on this list, with the exception of two players. So, we're going to count this thing down from number 10, but first, a couple things. First off, if you don't like this list, then come up with this order. I explained at the beginning how ESPN came up with the order so if you're mad go curse ESPN now I don't want to hear that shit <laughs> but anyway man we're gonna start with an honorable mention number 11 I know it said top 10 but number 11 is the shine Watson just dropped a video on Deshaun yesterday. We talked about how it's been a tough season, man. Interception numbers are up. His rushing totals are down. But Clemson is still ranked number three in the nation, led by this man. And the best thing about Deshaun's season is it's elevated over the last month. So as we go into the end of the season, it seems like he's playing his best football, which is obviously a plus. You got to show so much love to his team and stab the program and Deshaun, everybody. Number 10, Donnell Pumphrey. Donnell Pumphrey, running back from San Diego State, has 1,908 rushing yards, plus 15 rushing touchdowns to go along with that. If he can average 109 yards over these last two games, Mountain West Championship game and the bowl game, then he'll pass Ron Dane and sit number one on top of the NCAA all-time rushing game. Number nine, Baker Mayfield, quarterback, Oklahoma Sooners. Baker Mayfield leads the nation in QBR, passer efficiency rating, and yards per attempt. His team has won eight games straight, and in those eight wins, he's got 28 touchdowns and only four picks. Number eight, Dalvin Cook, running back, Florida State Seminole. My boy Dalvin has run for 100 yards in eight of his last nine games, and he's currently ranked second among all Power 5 players in scrimmage yards with 2,046. Number seven, Jordan Lewis, cornerback, Michigan Wolverine. Jordan Lewis is the only skill position player on this list that I have not done a video on. So we definitely gonna have to fix that in the future. But yeah, Jim Thorpe Award finalist. And he's an actual shutdown corner. The type of corners whose stats don't really jump off the page until you put the receiver he was facing number up against what they normally do. Anyway, he's got 11 pass breakups, two picks, and he's actually got his hands on more passes thrown in his direction than the intended targets had. Number six, Adoree Jackson, cornerback, USC Trojan. Again, just dropped a video on, on Adoree yesterday, which made the second actual video that we've done on him. Adoree's more of a playmaking type of cornerback. Plays corner, does kick return, punt return, plays a little bit of offense. As a matter of fact, in the last game versus Notre Dame, had a pass touchdown, kick return touchdown, and a punt return touchdown, all in that one game. Insane. Adoree's also got four interceptions, all of which were pretty damn spectacular. And he's currently fourth on the team with 51 tackles. Pretty damn good from the cornerback spot. Time for the top five, baby. Number five, Jabril Peppers. Oh man, I got so much hate early in the season for comparing Jabril Peppers and Adoree Jackson. Got some love too, but there were people pissed that I would even compare them. Here they are on ESPN's list, one point apart. Big fan of both. I too would give Jabril the edge at this point, but they're definitely very comparable players. And as a matter of fact, Adore is the only player in college football I can even compare Jabril to. There might be one or two more guys, but y'all feel what I'm saying. Jabril's rank last time was number two. He's down a few spots from two to five. Jabril's skill set is crazy to me. The fact that his primary position is linebacker, bro. His primary position is linebacker. He's a linebacker that returns kicks and punts. That doesn't happen in college. That's some high school shit. Because Jabril does so much, it makes it hard for the naked eye to really like quantify what he does. The numbers don't really tell the story. Like you really gotta understand what you're looking at in order to understand why this guy is such a big deal. He leads the team in tackles for a loss 
with 16. Those are impact plays, tackles for loss now. He averaged 14 and a half yards per punt return. And on offense, he averaged 6.2 yards per carry. Every time he touched the ball, you gotta be ready for him to make a big play. And that changes momentum in games, which is so underrated. Number four, Deontay Foreman, running back, Texas Longhorn. Okay, where do we start? Foreman's the national leader in rushing yards. So this 250 pound wrecking ball literally beats teams up for the entire game. Look, like imagine having to hit this dude 20, 30 times a game. This dude's stats are absolutely ridiculous, and throughout the entire season, his lowest rushing total was 124 yards. His lowest. So yeah, he's got over 2,000 rush yards, 2,028 to be exact. Number three, the second and last player who I've not done a video on, number three is Jonathan Allen. D lineman, Alabama. I've only not done a video on him because he doesn't play a skilled position. What can I say? Alabama's D-line and he's the best player on it. That really should be enough. We can go to number two. But he's damn near 300 pounds, beast at stopping the run. But he's also stupid athletic at that size, man. He leads the team in quarterback hurries and he's third on the team, third on Alabama's defense in sacks. Got seven sacks. Then in addition to that, he's also got two touchdowns this year. I'm just saying. Number two. Number two is a player who has been number one on both of the previous lists, and it wasn't even close. But after struggling a bit these last few weeks, Lamar Jackson, quarterback, Louisville, has fallen all the way down. <laughs> That's sarcasm, bro. The number two. This cat had one of the most amazing seasons, bro. And through like the first three quarters of the season, Maybe a little bit deeper than that, man. It seemed like this dude was completely unstoppable, runaway Heisman, no question. But his team kind of let him down, man, and they ended the season with two losses. First off, dude's only a sophomore. He had 4,928 yards, damn near 5,000 yards. And he broke the ACC record with 51 touchdowns. He was nationally ranked in the top 11 in four different categories, man, passing, rushing, total offense, and point score. And in my and many other people's opinion, he's still the Heisman front runner, I believe. I think you can't be a prisoner of the moment. You have to look at the full season and kind of realize. But I don't blame people for having a little bit of a sour taste because again, after ending the season like that, it's gonna hurt his chances some. It's just human nature, it's a fact of, fact of life, it's how it goes. But I would still like to see him get it, but we'll see. Number one, baby, DD. Westbrook, wide receiver, Oklahoma Sooners. I mean, he, he basically picked Oklahoma up after a slow start. He leads the power five in receiving yards per game. And the craziest and most impressive stat, he's got 11 touchdowns of 40 yards or more. That's the most by any player since 1998. All right, check this out. D.D. Westbrook has five touchdowns of 60 plus yards. There's only eight teams, bro. Eight teams nationally. Eight teams that have more than this one person. So if we were doing a top 10 list of 60 plus yard touchdowns, there'd be eight teams, and then there'd be D.D. Westbrook, and then there'd be another team. That's crazy. Anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, click the thumbs up button. Let me know how y'all feel about ESPN's list down in the comment section. Also, subscribe if you're new. My name is Flim Low Raps, and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time.